It's Resident Evil time again. Guess that'd be why I'm dressed this way. Now return to the Alice show where we must save Alice because Alice is so important. <laughs> so who else would be a recruit for Wesker's rescue team but Luther? Because of course Wesker's top-notch survival team includes a basketball player. Must have heard about his plane catching skills. Either that or Wesker's just trying to form the new pro stars. All right, hold on ladies. Barry, something must have happened to you. Am I wrong? You sound strange. Well then I hope that you're really good at holding your breath. Barry! And I don't think I really need to tell you, but Leon, like Barry, is just a blank slate with Leon's name and sort of his character model slapped on him. He's not the rookie cop who survived Raccoon City and then went on to become a special agent. Like Barry, he's just some barely defined guy sent by Wesker to get the only important character in this whole film franchise. Security Chief Valentine has reached the Tokyo test environment. She's tracking you. She's also very surprised there are security cameras in this facility she works in. Who's giving these orders? The Red Queen. The same artificial intelligence you encountered in the hive. I know I told you this was coming already, but really, it didn't have to be this way, Retribution. The Red Queen tried to kill everyone in the Hive in the first Resident Evil film for one reason. Fear of the T-Virus infection spreading. Why did you kill everybody down here? The T-Virus escaped into the air conditioning system, and an uncontrolled pattern of infection began. I couldn't allow it to escape from the Hive. Those who become infected, I can't allow you to leave. Now she is purposely spreading infection and controlling zombies. And was it her who did this viral arms race BS with Umbrella? Or is this with Wesker when he was in control of the company from the previous film? Either Wesker did something that now goes against with what he wanted and was just making it sound like he didn't have anything to do with it despite being Wiener Boy Chairman Wesker then, or the Red Queen did this, which goes against her programming and she also managed to get this done really damn quick. Not to mention, the Red Queen couldn't even contact anyone to let them know what had happened down in the hive, let alone transfer herself out of it. And not that that matters, because her system was fried by the end of that film. The bitch wouldn't open the door, so I had to fry her. How do you screw up your own continuity this bad? Especially in a film that references the hell out of that same very film you set that up in. Again, it's like Afterlife. They want you to remember and forget things about the same film. I've plotted an escape route for you. You'll cross the New York environment to suburbia. Oh, naturally, the only way to get through this facility is going through the simulation areas. If they had passed going around them, that only makes sense, and that has no place in this film. Speaking of which, they were still running these simulations despite the viral arms race and their point being over. Yup, that's the way the crappy film crumbles. Retribution! You must hurry, I can't. Project Alice, you're all going to die down here. I've heard that before. Ouch, that just hurt. I mean, you already recapped that line from the first film at the start. There was really no need to very clunkily throw it into the dialogue again. And just what the hell is the Red Queen doing? I told you her motivation in the first film, but here it's just destroy the world, cuz... I don't know, Extinction didn't do it right? The Red Queen is determined to destroy all life on Earth. Sweet. It really is the exact opposite of what she is trying to do before. Ta-da! Oh yeah, and remember that hologram from Extinction? Well, I guess we've gone back in hologram technology again. In fact, she's not even appearing as a hologram. She's just on a screen, and that's the best they could do? Let's pick up the pace. We have less than 90 minutes. Intruders detected. Targeted for termination. 
stupid movie targeted for review. Yeah, I guess I'm telling myself that. And in case you didn't believe me that the Red Queen can apparently just power on the infected... Activate biohazard. And of course, again, these are Plaga-infested creatures from the games not created by the T-Virus. So how did you get these, Red Queen? You're all going to die down here. Well, that explains it. Thanks, Red Queen. No powers, no powers. Yanis Prospero is just an ordinary girl. Hey, boy. Bad idea. Yeah, maybe next time just kill them instead of waiting to make a one-liner to creatures that probably didn't even understand it. Intruders entering Moscow test environment. Activate Las Plagas Undead. Yeah, she's just got access to Plagas, cause whatever. Plus she's got zombie Plaga combos. It's just so she can have zombies that shoot at people. Just... Wow, I don't even care anymore. She might as well just pull out the rainbow unicorn zombie she created online made real from her virtual butt to rain down acid from the ceiling from its horn and shoot them with its laser eyes. And hey, isn't this a great way to get rid of those no names? whoop de doo Clouds. They're not real. It's a holographic projection. Remarkably good, considering this is how you render a person in this film. <sighs> so this simulation is Raccoon City? If they did New York anyway, who the shit was this one made to sell the virus to? Something that makes no sense if you just put a little bit of thought into it? In retribution? What the hell? I just can't believe! I can't believe! I can't believe. I can't believe. Oh no! I'm dead! But I love me! They're using clones of me. Yeah, it's the first time. You were one of the 50 basic models. So Umbrella got DNA samples of all its employees for this? Was this mandatory for the job, or was Alice a clone the whole time? Get ready for all those answers when the unicorn shows up. Umbrella imprints them with basic memories. In one life, she could be a suburban housewife. The next, a businesswoman in New York. The next... A soldier working for Umbrella. Yeah, good thing now that Umbrella's accomplished its goal of spreading the virus around, they're using these clones for their army and not just wasting them to play house and die. Yeah? Hide and seek zombies! They're known to do that. Oh, and would you look at that? Alice's clone daughter thinks she's her mommy. Ain't that just real fucking cute? Alice will love her just like Angela Ashford, who completely disappeared after her one film. Guess she's dead. Who cares? So glad Alice has another little girl to protect. It's almost like these movies repeat things they've already done over and over and over again. Like me, I know, it's a repetition sandwich. And of course, real Alice also knows sign language because moving on. Hey, remember me, laser face from the first film? I'm back to be really not important. But look, Rain's clone, and she's almost the same as she actually was. You know, that's something. There's a child here. Your problem, not ours. Daddy? He's not your father. You didn't see my lips and I didn't sign that so you don't have a clue that I just told you that. Good job, Yanis. And speaking of good jobs, she uses this time to make small talk with the clones instead of, oh, I don't know, talking to Jill, the one person who actually knows her and maybe she could get through to. Hey, run up ahead. I gotta check my wound by myself. That way you could possibly get killed by a zombie by yourself. <laughs> and that wound is gonna play a very important part in showing that Alice is so cool it doesn't affect her at all.
Naturally, nice Riguez is overjoyed to see the people who abandoned her to die, and of course she somehow wandered into another simulation while still being unaware. And that means it's time for Mila Jovovich to teach Michelle Rodriguez how to fire a gun. I totally buy that. And now, it's time to show off the coolness of Barry Leon and the plane catcher taking out an oversized bootleg liquor. Waiting for a written invitation? Who does that even surprise anymore? Seriously? Where's Ada? I don't think she made it. You saw her die. No. She always has a plan. Yeah, she got captured. What a plan. Good thing Alice planned for them to shoot that van at the exact right time and for it to be destroyed in the exact right way or else they would have just crashed into the van. This is my mom. I just like to announce that. Long story. She's my clone's daughter. Short story. And you can say it. She won't hear you. How'd you end up working for Wesker? I don't work for him. I just do assignments for him. That's working for him, Leon. Well, fuck! Damn you! I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Oh darn, not cloney clone. Bye, nice Riguez! You might have been completely pointless to the plot, but you did show me Michelle Rodriguez playing a different character. What are you doing? She's alive. I'm going to get her. Why would she be alive? And yeah, she is, which in itself is just fucking stupid. Cause all we've seen Lickers do, even within this movie's universe, is kill people. But as of this one, they put people in sacks, which are fairly simple to rip yourself out of. And let me tell you, there's a very good reason for that. Um... Uh, and that is, um, you're all going to die down here. And I apologize, but one more time, no powers. Yeah. So, here comes the biggest crime of this film. So, Barry and Jill together. And they never acknowledge it, not even once. No, no, no. I'll fix this. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Yeah, 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 you're here too. <laughs> I'm not even sorry. It was worth it. Cease your firing or I'll execute her. Step out or she dies. Well, obviously, Barry isn't gonna fall for that. Oh, Barry! Glad I was in this movie. Barry, you're alive. Good waste of your Barry retribution, your stupidity sandwich. This movie's a farce, a fucking farce. Fuck this movie to fucking sandwich hell. Yeah, yeah. So, shoot Ada now? Nah, we'll keep her because we just got to get rid of the best Resident Evil character before he actually did anything and keep her because she's in a cocktail dress. The clones are literally off the rack. You don't know how to not be fucking moronic, do you, Retribution? And why would they mass produce the same model so much at the same time? And of course, Alice isn't gonna save any of these clones because she doesn't value clone life. 
unless they're awake already. And you remember Umbrella was making Alice clones already, right? In order to find out how she was able to bind with the T-Virus so they could have super soldiers, which as of Afterlife were all proven to have the same powers, meaning they were all a success and Umbrella even knew that by this point. Well, what better way to use your other facility full of Alice clones than to have them die in zombie scenarios rather than make your super soldier army? You are so stupid, Retribution! You hurt me with how stupid you are! Think! Think! For the love of zombie fuck, think! Oh wait, no, no thinking will be done here, cause look at Alice's hair! Just like the hairstyle on her clones, right? Oops. And all those potentially innocent people died! But who cares, because, you know, they weren't conscious. It's okay if they're not awake. But don't worry, the stupidity isn't quite over yet. Hey, look at us. We're perfectly dressed for this climate. Only the two of you. It'll be enough. The last plaga is parasite. Just to let any unfamiliar know, people infested with the plaga parasite were the regular enemies in Resident Evil 4 and 5. In this movie, it turns Rain into Uber Rain, who can just piss bullets out her fingertips and is pretty much invulnerable. Not only is that ridiculous, but since it does that to a normal person, why didn't they just do this with more people? And before now, and we know they had more because they wasted them on zombies. And of course, she's only going to knock Ada out after she's outlived her usefulness because that's the way they roll. <laughs> So naturally, knowing that all she has to do is pull the red chest orb thing off Jill and she'll be fine eventually, Alice tries to kill her. I don't know why I expected them to remember stuff from the first film when they can't even remember Afterlife. The movie right before this one? It's not until a moment of desperation that Alice goes, Oh, oh yeah, I'm a moron. But of course, it tries to lunge at her afterwards, because that's not how it worked one film ago either. Paul Anderson must miss his Mortal Kombat days. You know, back when he made a video game film that didn't suck because for some reason Uber Rain has the X-Ray moves for Mortal Kombat 9. Fatality. Who fucking cares? And now that we know she has a heart-stopping x-ray move, naturally doing this to Alice, a person with no powers and a deep wound, this merely knocks the breath out of her. Yes, Alice's heart stopped and it didn't matter. Behold, our Resident Evil Savior, Saint Yanis Prospero. Or Alice, fuck it. What's this? Is it... Finally time for Jill to actually do something? Alice. Yeah, you just had your heart stop, but I had a mind control device taken off me. Of course you should have the gun. No one else accomplishes anything, remember? You can't kill me. I don't need to. So luckily there's zombies just swimming right underneath her and I guess that's a solution because we all know zombies are aquatic life and will never try to surface. Wait a second, my heart stopped! <clears throat> oh well, give her some saline solution and she'll be alright. Glad to have you back. I don't have amnesia like Claire did after you pulled the red orb off her because those rules are so last movie. Hey, we got to the White House somehow, even though it's under heavy attack. Oscar, I see you made yourself at home. Yes, it's the most secure place in the world, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You were the only one to successfully bond with the T-Virus. Well, now I have need of you. The old you. Of course. 
So Wesker just has power off and power on needles laying around everywhere. No more powers for you today, Alice. Nope, need them back now. On. Oh, you peed on the carpet. Bad. Powers off. Oh, you ate your whole zombie today. Good girl, Alice. Power's on. We're totally safe up here. See, we've got a castle wall built around us. Sure, they're flying creatures, but they can't possibly fly over this wall. Why? Everything about this movie. Why? Why? It didn't have to exist. I was quite okay with that, weren't you? Weren't you? It's, it's just an attempt to drive everyone insane if you actually put thought into it. You're, you're not supposed to. You will lose your mind. Don't think about anything when you watch this movie. I warn you. What it, it's, it's just contradicting everything it's set up before it. And what it's not contradicting, it's just repeating. And the overall plot feels like a giant act one. You keep waiting for them to rescue Alice and move on to the next part. But it doesn't happen. They just drag this shit out so that they can set up the Wesker Alice Alliance going to war in the next film. It's just really lame. More supposed game characters wasted, and the films almost seem like they're going out of their way to poke holes in their storyline. It shouldn't feel like you know less about what's going on because you actually remember the previous films. Now. If you'll excuse me, I need to say goodbye to someone. He wasn't Barry. Not really. But he was the closest thing we were going to get in this stupid farce of a movie series. And even though he never said it once in the film, I know he was thinking it. So, I think the only way to say goodbye is... You're a Barry Sandwich! As a little too friendly, this monster seems so big. My nerves are gonna break. Failures don't let me down. You need to be around. Grab that running one up and blast that sink a new one. This movie looks it Fail us, so fail us. Bring a multi comedy of fail us, so fail us. And some horror movies of fail us, so fail us. I don't care about how you sound, but fail us, so fail us. What's your opinion of Chris, I know you had your fun in Afterlife, but will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Oh, flamethrower rocket launcher! <laughs>